Hey Yogi, it's Jen. Thanks for joining me today for your practice. So today we're going to work on Delay Pose, just getting in one variation of it. Please make sure that your shoulders, your hamstrings, and your quadriceps are already warmed up before you attempt this pose. I'll meet you at the hammock. Okay, so this is called Belay because we're creating a belay knot. And the way that we're going to do that is by using our legs to manipulate the fabric. So parts of this happen pretty quickly. We're gonna go over that and what's important to focus on as far as muscular groups to make sure that that happens the way that we want it to. So I'm gonna start facing the backside so you can see the placement of the fabric along the waistband. And the way that we're gonna start is by turning and I'm gonna place my right leg in the fabric. Now when you take the right leg in, Super important that you just have the arch of the foot in the fabric because in order to slide the foot along the fabric, you don't need it along the heel or the ball or the toes. So start underneath your fabric here and go ahead and pull yourself upward and take that left leg to the front. Now, in order to slide the right leg over and get this fabric to come up along the waistband, you've got to kind of angle your left leg out to the left side of it so what I'm gonna do is start to press my left leg over and then slide the right foot over as well. Now you can see that the fabric is at the waistband. It's above just barely the hip bone or just barely a tad below the hip bone of the right leg. Now, this is pretty common in how this is set up, right? Most of the time in order to be safe, you've got to have this along the low back or the waistband. It should not be on the rump. If it's on the rump itself, when you lean back, you're gonna be at risk of slipping. So keep this above the meat portion of the bum. Okay, now this next part happens pretty fairly fast. And the way that we're gonna attempt this is just talk about it real fast. So left arm's gonna reach over and grab that fabric, but obviously I can't reach it because my arm is a little bit shorter. So I'm gonna take my right hand and just pull it in. Bam, okay, hand flex. Now the right hand can just reach for the fabric that's above the left shoulder. What happens here is you're gonna be using your shoulder muscles to pull the fabric apart, even though it's coming closer together. Once it's apart, it creates a little crisscross, and you have to get your left leg lifted and up and over in the crisscross. It makes no sense till you see it, but because it happens fairly quick, we're gonna go over it fairly fast. Okay? You might miss it, so keep an eye. Hands are gonna pull apart, and you're gonna spin around. Left leg's gonna lift, it goes up and over, and in between the fabric. Okay? In order to keep it there, just bend the left knee. Now you can see here if the fabric was on the rump, it would slide off of you, which is why we want it here at the waistband. Now this next part also a little bit wonky, but worth it to be able to get the foot up and over to create the knot. So we're in the process now. So what you're gonna find here is when you activate your inner right thigh and push the leg into the fabric, you can generally keep it there. Now I'm reaching my arm through to show you that this fabric here is going to go up and through this middle line. So hands hold up. It's an inhale to lift and it comes up and over. Okay, if you want to hook the foot in, cool, but you've got to now free your left leg. It's sticking out. The foot itself is going to go under the fabric that's hooked into the right arch. So now you place it in the left arch. Pull the right foot out and bring it to the inside and then replace the foot. Then just slide the legs through and bring the fabric to your knees. So here's your belay knot. Now the hands can help you drop down to just underneath your armpits. And here's your belay. So once you're in, just take a nice deep breath. Send it out. Now obviously, a couple things to note about the lay. I believe that there's a purpose to every posture, and so if you're in the pose and you're kind of not activated or doing too much, you're kind of missing out on actually a lot of great opportunity. So here, what's lovely about the lay is that you have the opportunity for an upper back bend. I really, really like to take the arms out. Imagine the collarbones separating and bring the hands underneath the head. 
Here you can actually just reach back and allow yourself to really open up. Get that external pronation of the shoulder blades. Find a big breath. Nice long exhale. And then from here, how to get out, okay? This is where your shoulder strength again, your arm strength comes in handy. You're gonna take the hands to the fabric that's connected to the knees, essentially. You're gonna hold it there while you start to take the feet in back and you're pushing that fabric one more time. You're creating a nice little ball shape. Now, as you let one foot come down, you're gonna feel how much pressure you're inserting with the ball in the arch of your left foot. You're gonna hold that there with your hands and then just let yourself slide down. And then you made it out of your blade, in and out. Hope that helps.